Welcome back to John Cleese Car Audio's YouTube channel. My name is Connor and today I am showcasing a little installation of a Apple CarPlay double din in this 2017 sale Alhambra. So without further ado, let's show you what we've done. Now this unit, this car unfortunately had a faulty MIB unit from VW, which I can show here. This one right here went down. Customers quoted about 1,500 pounds on VW to fix it not really well replace it i should say not really worth it because the functionality is quite antiquated now which is showing the touchscreen went faulty on this one so now he's got this unit with a three-year warranty installed by ourselves i hope he's got some peace of mind this unit is the dmx 8021 you've probably seen it featured a lot on our channel because it's extremely popular there is the box for it if you want to have a look at it on the internet very good unit extremely intuitive to use super responsive touchscreen and it offers everything you need on a head unit and nothing you don't need we think so starting off on the top you've got apple carplay which i'm in at the moment my phone's connected wirelessly there it is no lead plugged in it also supports wireless android so if you're an android user it also does wireless connectivity now if you never had apple carplay before this is what it looks like you get app, you get useful apps like navigation apps like maps google maps ways navigation if you pay for it, you also get tom tom you get access to your music streaming apps. I use Tidal up there, but you can obviously use Spotify, Deezer, or Apple Music. You get internet radio apps. So if you don't want to listen to DAB or you're in an area where there is no DAB, then you can also listen to internet radio apps. Now, this car already had DAB. We've retained the factory aerial, so he can now push home, go into DAB, and obviously he's still got his DAB stations. You've got your favorites listed on the right here. You can store up to 15. And what's easy about this unit is where you go for your DAB listing. You just push the magnifying glass, and then you've got all the stations in alphabetical order and you just check the one you want, easy as that. Now this car has got some other optional upgrades which we've kept working. Let's start with a factory reverse camera. So if I put it in reverse now, it's gonna give me the picture of the reverse camera. It's also, the car already had, also had moving guidelines so they also still work which is really nice. You don't wanna kinda of lose that functionality. This car has also got factory optical parking sensors. Now, Customers also got front parking sensor overlay. So if I was to go forwards now, the camera's gonna disappear and he's gonna get his front sensors appear on the screen as well. And as I get closer, the bars are gonna get closer and closer, just like the original option. Put it in reverse, he's still gonna get his reverse image like that. It's simple as that. And as I go further back, obviously the front sensors appear. And then even things like when you put it in park, the camera was there, parks will stay on the screen, indicating the obstacle still there, but if I push the factory parking sensor switch, da, 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 parking sensor disappear, like that. Now it's also linked by a CAN bus, so things even like your heater controls, if you adjust your heater controls, they also come up on the display as well. Even your heated seat button, so if I push the heated seat button, you'll see the actual heated seat will change the sensitivity as well. Real nice interface this unit has managed to do to connect it all to the original system. So. It's as close to the factory system as the customer's gonna get. He hasn't lost any functionality. All it's doing will control still work, including phone buttons, answer, and hang up. Beautiful overall seamless installation, really. Super happy. And I'm sure our client will be too. But I'm gonna finish waffling there. No more to say on this installation, I do not think. If you have any questions on this or another, well, vehicle you want this model fitted in or how it interfaces into the car, then be sure to send us an email, drop us a comment, subscribe to our channel if you don't mind and um yeah you can message us on whatsapp as well via our handy number on our website but for now connor signing off see you later see ya